Your Excellency, I have decided to write this open letter to you as a concerned friend and brother. As you're aware, I'm a member of opposition but you and I have had a long history together. I owe you only one thing, truth. It is very obvious that the first thing that takes flight in the presidential villa is truth. The reason is simple. Some Nigerians are experts in hijacking men and women of power. The deification process is often swift and irreversible. I'm writing you today, not because I expect you to act on my suggestions, but to put it on record that someone gave you the true picture of things. I'm also hoping that some of your friends will read and interpret to you in a sober moment. 1. Nigeria is in big trouble. Our economy has virtually collapsed. And what's the way out? You've been wasting too much money at a time that requires absolute frugality. Please, stop this reckless propensity for wasting scarce resources. Purchasing presidential jets, building outlandish monuments, distributing cash as palliatives etc., are signs of a failed and careless government. If you can curb the excessive spending of your government, you will free up a lot of resources for serious development. 2. I believe you're frittering away our resources because you desperately crave a second term. But the best assurance of a second term is performance. Nigerians are not expecting you to turn water into wine. But they don't want you to turn their wines into water. Here are my tips, invest in vocational skills for our highly talented youths who can demonstrate their capacity for hard work. Invest heavily in local agriculture. Upgrade our institutions of learning. Giving cash to politicians to distribute is unhealthy. And unhelpful it is the height of cluelessness. 3. In the name of God, beware of those hero worshippers at the National Assembly who have turned you into God. Ndum is your best friend. Listen to him. There's danger ahead. 4. You must enforce discipline as a leader. Your new disciple, Nisam Wyke, has publicly disrespected you in the Fubara matter. You need to sanction him before he throws Nigeria into total chaos. Delhi Mamadou